So then, we are back with the more understandings from the Renewed Covenant, from the Aramaic English translation of the word. This translation comes from the original manuscript of the prophets of old from the time of Israel, giving us then the understanding of the time of the end, where then the nations would understand a time of peace, a time of rebuilding, and a time of readjustment in terms of the economics of the country. We understand the Messiah had spoken many words regarding the time of the end, and this time also he related with obviously the scriptures in terms of the layer of the prophecy from Yerushiahu, then Ezekiel, and Daniel. So then it's very normal for each nation going through a crisis, then the governments always they maintain a low budget, and then privatization is an absolutely must. Because then the nation then relieves itself from so many obligations, and then they can maintain at least what the country has. And then obviously the retrieving of then the armed forces in order to rebuild even further. So then, with this understanding in mind, we begin the journey, understanding then the Chinese system, so then we can relate ourselves with our economy, and then the new economy that's coming, very shortly, because we understand wars are prohibited, and then each nation should then take care of its own situations, because each of these nations then, they have to have a certain amount of their own economics, in order to join the Chinese system. Some of the countries that are in very bad shape, they can start up as then having exchange via the materials or then the raw materials that they have in order to start up in the system. But they have to have some sort of infrastructure in order to maintain itself and then doing trade with the rest of the world. So then, this is very obvious each nation then must have a certain area where then they can safeguard themselves with a certain amount of resources and then never spend more they can earn. Because you have to have a maximum of 50-50 in order to a nation then to maintain itself. And unfortunately our country has let them get over the 50% so we are spending more than we are earning and then begin to self-destroy itself. So then the basic understanding of a nation leaning up, that's normal. Any nation that goes through these crises, they have to lean up. And our country must, because there are lots of agencies that are non-profit, and they simply are wasting resources that we could be saving, because with private companies, then they can do the work much more high quality and yet with a fraction of the cost. So then you can invest other areas then available and then these areas can be developed and then the trade of the private sector then becomes more prominent. And then obviously reducing then the military forces then we have to substitute within our friend the Chinese. Because they are waiting for it. That's why then Yahweh has decided to build up a huge, most powerful military force in order to then make sure the world then is doing trade. Because this is during the time of the trade. Time of rebuilding and time of peace. At least there is a gap of time selected for rebuilding. So then the nations not only they maintain what they have, but then wisely they begin to use their resources and then they do trade with the main leader of the trade of the world. And then we understand why, for instance, the Chinese then were selected to lead this end of time trade market. Because they have then the manufacturing, the most of the bulk required to do the rebuilding. They have those materials at hand so they can help other nations then build themselves up. But then obviously when a person begins to evaluate the amount, try to understand this factor. Many nations are coming up out of poverty. You have to have a certain amount of materials to get going. 
So then the basics are covered for so many nations emerging at the same time. In terms of then the high-end equipment or high-end technologies, they would not have enough time to build those up. That's when the other nations then, the developed nations, can do their rotation. Or then they can reevaluate what they are producing and then make sure they can come up with a market of then new technologies because then obviously China is going to be extremely busy with the bulk part of it. That's why people then they are going to invest and invest and invest in the system but then they have to produce the most likely used items. They won't have time for the others. It's simply a lot to do and not enough understanding of the existing situation of the nations. That is speaking obviously of electrical and then outlets, switches, piping, what is easy to manufacture because the return is much greater than invest in high quality equipment and then target certain areas. Then those nations are going to be targeting those areas. While then the Chinese they're going to be mainly interested in doing the bulk part of it because they are interested in their system then to go around the world and then much later then it would even it out so then the nations could invest in more technologies but then above those basics because only imagine for instance Africa emerging from poverty what kind of materials they're going to use Obviously, would be uh, building a house, would have to have lumber, would have to have electrical equipment, would have to have utensils, would have to have the basic domestic equipment. And those can be easily provided, but the quantity is the factor, the quantity. When the system then starts to be implemented, imagine the quantity that must be produced. You'd have to produce a lot of wiring, so a lot of demand for metals related with the wiring. And more people then double or triple or quadruple only to take care of the demand regarding wiring. So then you can imagine what would be the administration of the country while taking care of this high demand of the basics. However, other technologies, they would not have much time for those. That's when the other nations, they have a chance of then evaluating their resources and then verify what can be done in terms of other technologies. And then they begin to build up the market while then receiving from the investments that they do at the moment. So the system is self-sustained as long as people then begin to understand the scope of the situation because it's not only related with a nation it has to be done with every nation on the planet that's why then when you read the scripture in Revelation you understand then each nation of the planet would do in trade with China it's truly indicating the main bulk of it it doesn't relate with every system of the entire technology that we know of it would be crazy but the main bulk of it when you read for instance the items frankincense and then the other items those were peculiar of the time so it's speaking of the most popular items in order to rebuild a nation what do you speak of automobiles you know cheap automobiles are inexpensive tires parts electrical and then piping and then metal piping and the such those are going to be the main bulk because they have to have those equipment and then iron and iron rods concrete extremely high demanded besides gold and then silver and then precious metals Coltan, for instance, for high electronic equipment. So we must try to understand China as being the main bulk dealer of the nations we're building. And then each nation with its individual or individuality, then they do their own trade. 
But then up to this time, then would have this system already available because not only they can invest and receive at the same time, then they can do from country to country. So then there are many systems related with the main from China that is going to give them the chance of then investing and receiving, investing and receiving, investing and receiving. And then from nation to nation, then they have their own. I hope we can clarify the area because sometimes people they get crazy, they don't understand what it means. When speaking of computer, they think of taking over the entire system. It, it, that's not the point. That's a system among many systems. But because the evaluation comes from then the materials, the fabrication of the bulk of the materials is so large that it is then feasible doing this system. No country in the world other than China can do it. Because there is not enough manufacturing with a, such a bulk volume. That's why the Chinese then were chosen. Because they have volume then to sustain the entire system. So then make a whole lot more sense. So we can understand then the internet is going to be important. Computers are going to be the utmost important. Because as the nations then they are investing in the system. They have to have computers. They have to have banking. And then, in certain areas of the world, electric cars are absolutely a must because using petroleum in certain areas, people are nearly dying of respiratory problems because then some of the areas are involved by mountains. And sometimes the air they can't breathe, so it has to have electric cars. Not because they don't want to use the petroleum, it's because the physical area or geographical area in such a way that the air can't be removed from the city. So it has to have electric cars. And then other areas then are used amongst electrical systems and then recharging stations. And then the updates of luxury cars for instance to make sure they understand the entire system and how a person would use then at home during the travel time, you can have an entire setup at the car, you can do the trade and so on, and then updates at the same time at work, at home, at the vehicle. So there is a lot of work to be done and a lot of research because the most important is coming up with, for instance, uh, the software that can be worked with many nations as long as they change the rates of either taxes that they gather or then the way they do taxes. So a lot of this system must be implemented when a person receives the ID to do this main trade around the world, then a person is tracked. It's real time. As a person is doing dealings, then doing trade and receiving, and then a person is already paying part of it. So the governments always, they have cash flowing in. Every time, they don't have to wait, they be crazy of spending more than they can earn. And the situation in our country is precisely what's going on. We are spending more than we are earning, and then we are not ready for the system. Continuing this rate, we are going to ruin ourselves to the point of not even being able to reverse it. We'll end up in civil war. Because the more the system of the country then becomes unstable, the more then the rich they don't want to spend because they don't know what's going to take place. Then they hoard the money, they then let people out, and then turns out to be a civil war. That's why then it's so important understanding then retrieving from the world and let the Chinese then gradual taking over those patrols and then when they begin to do their system, implement their system, then we can retrieve even further and then privatize. So then we can adjust our economy and then be ready in 40 years. Because many countries are acting in fear. The United States, for instance, is acting in fear. 100% in fear. 
The reason why it's because the scripture is stating very simply, the time is not yet. We are simply starting a new time, time of restoration. Begin to read. And the main question is, since the United States has the, most of the foreign policies and they can't maintain it anymore, what do you think is going to take place in four years? We don't have any more manufacturing. Not to compete with the world's market. And we are spending more than we are earning. And it's increasing every time and our manufacturing is decreasing. It comes a time it crashes. And IMF already warned because their calculations indicates we have only four years left. And we can impose our military because it's not the time it's going to work against us. If we impose our military upon the world, they're going to destroy our places around the world. And then our own people are going to start to be mistreated. And then the situation that was taking place in Benghazi some time ago, then it's going to be the normal around the world. They're going to start burning it. It's very chancy because it's not the time yet. We can't impose the military upon the world. It's a time of a gap of peace. So we understand in Yerxiahu, the rebuilding time of the cities, then giving directives. And then we understand the secular market, yet not implemented. And any nation working against these principles of the scripture then works against them. It's a self-adjusting system where when the prophecies they come, they must be completed. And any person coming from other areas trying to do the contrary then works against the nation or the person. So the best for us is requesting then the Chinese to do patrols for us and then very slowly retrieving. Then, the Iranian president comes to UN for a talk. He named his terms. If he wants a nuclear weapon, he must be heard. We must be prepared to listen to him and verify what can be done. But if he wants a weapon, a nuclear weapon, he must be granted. However, there are some guidelines of limits. And then the Chinese also must be there in order to enforce the diplomatic trade. So when both presidents, they come amongst the other nations, they begin to talk in dealing with these areas, then the Chinese would have to have a tough diplomacy. That's when the Chinese system starts taking place. Because then, when the Iranian president makes his case and then demands a nuclear weapon, and then the nations, they talk amongst themselves, they grant the weapon, then in exchange they must give their word of rebuilding their economy. At the moment the inflation is 100%, so what they can do in order to make sure the economy then is improved. And then the Chinese president is there listening. And these are taking notes. So then the situation begins to adjust itself, but then it has to have the first step, courage, of asking then the Chinese to do patrols and then invite them to UN, invite the President of Iran to UN, and then having a talk over there. That's what UN was made for. And then afterwards, then, we can do the exercise with Israel, for instance, if it would not be a problem. And then the Chinese can start doing patrols. And we can then very gradual, very slowly then retrieving. Because we have to have a time of rebuilding ourselves. Our economy is not going to hold. The economy won't hold. Do the mathematical calculation, arithmetic. Do the calculation. We are spending more than we are earning. Our economy won't hold anymore.
And then as our military retrieve, then we have to have privatization. Then it take those resources from those areas, from the military, and then from also those agencies, and then generate more jobs related with oil, obviously. Because we can reduce our imports and then start drawing our own petroleum. Generates thousands of jobs. Please stay tuned, much more coming up.